Welcome to Cajano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. 49 raised to x power minus 42 raised to x equals 36 raised to x power. And we're solving for the value of x. And for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate that. And okay, let's start solving the uh, exponential equation. Before we start solving the exponential equation, Let's investigate the base. It's 49, 42, and 36. And now we're trying to find the common base for any of those. If not, it will be doing what we call dividing any of those with any of these, uh, the base, divided by 36 or 49 or 42, things like that. And uh, if we take a look at the base over here, if you notice, this one is a perfect square. And the first term is perfect square also. And uh, the best thing to do for this is uh, divide this with either divide the whole equation by 36 or divide by 49. The whole equation divide by 49 or divide by 36. And, and in this way, we're setting the ground for converting the equation into another variable. That way, representing a uh, converted uh, equation into a uh, quadratic equation, since uh, these are squares. So to start with, we start dividing by the whole equation by 36. So in here now, we, we start uh, writing the equation again. That is 49 raised to x minus 42 raised to x equals 36 raised to x power. And from here, we start dividing by 36 the whole equation. So that is 49 raised to x by, by 36, 36 raised to the x power minus 42 raised to x divided by 36 raised to x equals 36 raised to x divided by 36 raised to the x power. So from here now, we end up canceling this one right here. The right side of the equation, this become one, all right? And we have to rewrite the whole equation again. That is 49 divided by 36 raised to x. Since they both uh, have the same exponent, so we're putting them in the parentheses. Now minus this one right here. 42 raised to the x power and divided by 36 raised to x power equals 1. And take a look on this left side of the equation. Since these are perfect squares, so we can square them. 7 squared divided by 36 is 6 is squared raised to the x power minus and this one right here, 42 by 36 can be reduced lowest term by divided by 6 42 divided by 6 is 7 but by 36 divided by 6 is 6 then the square equals 1 so this becomes 7 divided by 6 is squared raised to x power minus 7 divided by 6 raised to x equals 1. This is written the same way as 7 divided by 6 raised to x is square minus 7 divided by 6 raised to x equals 1. And from here, we're trying to introduce new variable to represent 7 divided by 6 raised to the x power. So that is, let y be 7 divided by 6 raised to x power. And then the equation will become now y squared minus 7 over 6 divided, uh, raised to the x power is y equals 1. Transposing 1 from the right side of the equation to the left side it will become y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. And from here, we're going to find the value of y 
by using the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is y is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So from here now, y equals minus b, b is 1, that's negative 1 I should say, so minus 1, and since that is negative, negative b, so that is 1 plus and minus square root of b squared, negative 1 squared, minus 4, a is 1, and c is negative 1, square root, but by 2a, where a is 1, simplify further, this now becomes 1 plus minus the square root of negative 1 squared is 1 plus 4 times negative 1 will become positive 4 That's square root divided by 2 times 1 is 2 and y becomes 1 plus or minus square root 1 plus 4 is 5 square root of 5 divided by 2 but since the value of y is 7 divided by 6 raised to x power. So we substitute the value of y, 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 to this equation right here. So from here now, y is equal to 7 divided by 6 raised to the x power. And the value of y is 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 but by 2 so we're going to substitute the value of y to this equation over here so that is now 7 divided by 6 raised to x power equals 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 but since the value of y over here is positive 7 divided by 6 raised to the x power is positive we're discarding we're rejecting the negative value of this is square root of 5 so now it becomes 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 that is equal to 7 divided by 6 raised to x power so we'll be using this now the positive value of 5 since the value of y over here is positive so it cannot be negative so, all right so we're getting the the positive value Okay, so from here now, we're taking the logarithm on both sides. We're using the common logarithm or the natural, natural logarithm. It doesn't matter. So let's do common logarithm. So it is logarithm of 7 divided by 6 raised to x power to the base 7 divided by 6 equals the logarithm of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 to the base 7 divided by 6. Now in here we're using the uh, the, the same base uh, the logarithm rule now so that is logarithm of b to the base b raised to x is equal to x that ends up canceling the base with the same base right here so we'll end up just writing the exponent. So this base b to the base b is cancelled. All right, so that's the same thing on that. So that's uh, we came up to from here. x now is equal to logarithm of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 to the base 7 divided by 6. So from this point, if you notice, the base is uh, in, the, in, the, in the form of fraction 7 divided by 6. And we don't have uh, a base of 7 over 6, a fractional base in the, in the calculator. But we have 
the logarithm base 10. So we're going to do the, the uh, change of base formula for the logarithm. That is log of b to the base a equals the logarithm of b divided by logarithm of a. So we'll be using this formula, change of base formula. So from here now, the value of x now is x is equal to the logarithm of this 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by the logarithm of 7 divided by 6. And now this is considered base 10. Alright. So this is now our final answer. Okay. So if we use our calculator and get the value of this log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 7 over 6, the value of x will be in decimal form. That is 3.1217. And this right here, this is the exact version of the, the value of x. And this is approximate value since we ran it off to the just four decimal places. And if we were to check our answer, we have to substitute the value of x to the original equation. So in here, I have written the same equation again. 49 raised to x power minus 42 raised to x plus 36 raised to x. And by using our calculator, we're using the value of x is equal to 3.1217. And this comes up to 49 raised to x is equal to 188,923.117 minus 42 raised to x power is 116,760.866. And the value of 36 raised to x is equal to 72,162.158 and in here subtracting these values 49 raised to x power is this one minus 42 raised to x is this one the difference is 72,162.251 so you got the difference right here 251 versus 158. So this is approximately equal to the right side with the difference of negative 0 0.093. All right. And that difference is due to the rounding off of numbers. All right. So that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. All of you guys have a great day. Bye. I will see you in the next videos.